I'm Alma and I'm addicted to the internet and social media. But isn't everybody? Don't many of us say they go on email or Facebook for just a few minutes and end up opening 20 tabs of super interesting stuff, articles and videos, whatever else. Or um, have you ever felt that your phone is vibrating when it didn't? That's actually a new symptom that's developed in our brains that wasn't there before our connected age. It's like we've developed a Pavlovian association with the idea of Ooh, maybe someone's ringing me. It's a bit scary, huh? We've heard it before how social media is making us actually less social, less productive, maybe more lonely. But you know, every revolution in technology comes with a dark side and a Jedi side. And it just matters how you use the force. I tend to consume more than I contribute online. And what bothers me is that although I'm a filmmaker and of course I'm really happy that my work can reach an audience easily, it also means that I'm an easier target myself. So I'm constantly stimulated and inspired by photos, videos, articles, podcasts, you name it. And I tend to consume so much of them because I say, oh yeah, they're very inspiring and then maybe I'll do my own stuff based on that or you know, whatever. But I think the rate at which the information and inspiring stuff comes to me is so much faster than my ability to process it. And now we've entered an age where spectators are way less passive than they used to be. But that also means that there will be even more content to consume. So what then? Do you remember Bruce Almighty and when he gets the power to hear all the prayers around the world? That's basically happening to most of us right now. Maybe we should take breaks from technology, maybe for a weekend a day, and be able to organize everything in our own database. What should we do with all the overflow of information? Do we actually contribute when we put stuff online? I mean, I'm taking up your time and I'm sorry about that. I mean, you're probably being a good friend or you've been interested in the title, but still, you know, maybe you should be doing something else. But I'm an idealist and I believe that we're trying to uh, be neurons in this huge global mind that is the internet and we're trying to create meaningful synapses and thoughts with, with anyone in the world. And that's kind of beautiful, that reminds me of the tree in Avatar. But right now we have the desire to connect to uh, the digital humanity, but we don't know really what to do with that. So what do you think? Should we stop consuming? Should we keep going and hoping one day we'll be able to process everything?